फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ पेयर ऑफ ओवरीज अ पेयर ऑफ ओविडक्ट फेलोपियन ट्यूब्स यूट्रस व जाइना एक्सटर्नल जेनेटेलिया एंड अ पेयर ऑफ मेमोरी ग्लैंड ओवरीज आर द प्राइमरी सेक्स ऑर्गन ऑफ अ फीमेल दे आर सॉलिड स्ट्रक्चर लोकेटेड इन द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द एपडमेन It is connected by ligaments to the uterus and lateral pelvic wall. Each ovary is 2 to 4 cm long and 2 cm wide. It is composed of connective tissue called stroma covered by a layer of germinal epithelium. Stroma has an outer cortex and an inner medulla. The ovarian cortex contains some rounded bodies named follicles at various stages of development. Each follicle contains an ovum. Fallopian tubes or oviducts are narrow tubes about 10 to 12 cm long connecting the ovary to the uterus. Each oviduct is differentiated into three parts: infundibulum, ampulla and isthmus. Infundibulum is the funnel-shaped proximal part and has finger-like projections called fimbriae at its margin. Fimbriae are very close to the ovaries and receive the egg release from the ovaries. Ampulla is the wider part of the oviduct next to infundibulum. It is lined by ciliated epithelium. Isthmus is the short, narrow and straight part that follows the ampulla and connects with the uterus. Uterus is a hollow muscular and inverted pear-shaped structure. It is also known as the womb. It is located in the pelvic cavity between the urinary bladder and the rectum the uterus is attached to the body wall by a double fold of peritoneum called mesometrium it has an upper dome shaped part fundus middle large part corpus and a narrow part cervix that projects into the vagina implantation of embryo occurs in the uterine fundus It is the site of fetal growth during pregnancy. The cervix is composed of powerful sphincter muscles. It is strong enough to hold the weight of the fetus and amniotic fluid against the pull of gravity during pregnancy. The cavity of the cervix is called the cervical canal. The uterus has a thick wall made of three tissues: an outer peritoneal covering called perimetrium, a middle layer of smooth muscles, myometrium, and an inner glandular layer. endometrium the myometrium is involved in uterine contractions the endometrium undergoes cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle vagina is an elastic muscular tube about 7.5 meter long that connects the cervix of the uterus to the exterior of the body by the vaginal opening the cervical canal along with vagina forms the birth canal during menstruation the menstrual flow exits the body via the vagina vulva is the collective name of female external genitalia located in the pubic region of the body it includes vestibule mons pubis labia majora labia minora clitoris and hymen vestibules is a small depression in front of the anus into which the urethra and vagina open separately mons pubis is a cushion of fatty tissue on either side of the vestibule covered by skin and pubic hair the labia majora is the interior portion of the mons pubis which is split into right and left halves it is homologous of the scrotum the labia minora are a pair of hairless fleshy folds of tissue inner to the labia majora that surrounds the vaginal opening the clitoris is a small solid erectile organ that lies at the anterior junction of labia minora this is homologous to the penis the vaginal opening is covered partially by a membrane called hymen a slit in the hymen allows menstrual flow to pass out of the vagina a birth of bartholin's gland is seen on each side of the vaginal opening their ducts open just outside the hymen during sexual excitement These glands produce a viscous fluid that serves as a lubricant during copulation.